What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I Want Tesla and today we're getting hitched. I mean, I'm already married, but we're putting a trailer hitch on our Tesla Model Y. Not from Tesla. I got hit up by a company called Torque Lift. You may have heard of them. They made a Model 3 trailer hitch. They saw my video where we were at the racetrack and I pulled off that back cover to reveal that there was no trailer hitch. So they reached out to me and said, hey, can we use part of your video in some of our promotion? And I said, sure, as long as you give me credit and send me one of your products, I'd like to review it. They also sent me a wiring harness for this. So, because I want to do some trailer testing. This is a 3,500 pound uh, trailer hitch. The Model X is right over here. That is a 5,000 or 5,500 pound. I want to borrow a trailer, put some weight on it, and then do some comparison between the X and the Y eventually. We need lights for that. The Model X comes with the trailer hitch. I just need to hook up the wires. Don't know how to do that yet, but I will. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in the video today, because this looks a little intimidating, kind of. But this is the box they sent. We're gonna put this on. I'm gonna lift the back of the car up because I have to take the bumper off and it's easier to get under the car when it's up a little bit higher. I'm not down so far on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna lift it up because I have these really nice jack stands from Safe Jack. I got those uh, from Teslarati. Did you know they sell stuff there? They're actually selling this trailer hitch as well. If you don't wanna go all the way to the end of the video and you just wanna order this, go to Teslarati, well actually just go to the link down below, click the link and order yours today because it is a, a third of the price. I think it's a third of the price of what Tesla charges. And your purchase helps out the channel as well and I wanna thank you because you guys are awesome. My subscribers are awesome, they're the best. I'm gonna put the Model Y up on jack stands just in the back, I don't need to do the whole car. And like I said, just so it's a little safer. Oh, and for reference, it's 7.22 in the evening. Let's time how long it takes. That is beautiful. I love those red jack stands, those are amazing. But also I love how high this gets, very safe. It's one of the safest ways you can lift the car without spending a ton of money on a huge floor jack. And that really took me about three minutes to do. So now, what's inside the box? Nicely packaged here. It's always nice when you put the package in a nice box. Flip this out. All right, so this is it. It's one solid structure, excellently welded on, made in the USA, eco hitch, and a two inch receiver, very easy to use. The chain hookups are up high because there's not much space for the chains down below. A 350 pound tongue weight and 3,500 pound trailer weight. You get all the hardware plus some extras uh, to make it easier for the door itself. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. I'm gonna read the directions or look at the pictures anyway, and then get to work pulling that bumper off. I'll bring you back when I start this. So first thing, we're going to slide this up out of the way, but not too far because we need a shelf here. And then we're gonna pull up on this. You can probably do this by hand. I did bring some pry tools over here. Kind of figured I would need some things. We'll just slide that up into there. Next, we need to remove these. Now, I've got a whole kit of this stuff. Um, I'll have a link down below. I got it on Amazon. It was uh, really cheap, and it makes it really easy to remove these little push pins. Actually, everything that I use will be down below in the description, so we can pull this back. So we're gonna pry off the plastic cap. This is, it doesn't turn. Here's the whole kit that I bought. I actually got it for Christmas. Thank you, mom and dad. You can see it's a pretty large kit. Doesn't seem like this is the way to do it, but it says pry. And they're right, you pry that off. Oh, thank God I didn't break that. Thank God I didn't break the glass. So that's gonna help remove the tail light. So now, we pull back and pry the door panel back. 
It's just all the dead ends for that. Oh, so there's power supply back here. If you need power, pry this back enough to get to those bolts. If I'm not mistaken, those were tiny. And if you miss any of this, there are directions. I believe that was an eight on the model three. You get both of them off the same way. All right, once you have the two bolts off of both of those, I already took that one off, is just a matter of wiggling and pulling this thing off. The two pins are on this side. There's a pin here and here, which would correspond over here. So what you wanna do is kind of grab on this side, kind of pop loose already. Oh, there we go. And you need to disconnect the wire too. Wiggle the wire loose and there you go. I'm going to take my watch off so I don't scratch it anymore. The bumper is being held on with this and three clips here. It's not much holding it on. Actually, this side was loose already. Uh, so we need to obviously take that off. So now we have to go under the car and remove all these little pins. And there's bolts as well. This metal one is perfect for the little pop rivets. Those are probably 10 millimeter bolts that we'll be using. We have that in the drill. All right, here's one. Try not to put your head right underneath these because you will get crap in your eyeball. And try to, try to keep things organized right under where you got it. So now we're going to remove these, which will loosen this up. It is 10 millimeter. So one spun. And that's going to be a bitch. That means someone at Tesla stripped that. Thank you guys. And move back up the directions. Oh wait, we got to get the wheel well ones. I'm not sure if it just said the one, but yes, it did just say the one because it it's broken right there. It's, or not broken, but it's broken free. Right here, you just grab and pull. Firmly, but gently. <laughs> I'm prying away from the car. Don't worry if things pop off, they go right back in. These cars are put together like Legos, so you'll be able to get it back off. Oh, that's smaller. And let's see if that's an eight millimeter. Yep, that is an eight millimeter. Just one. And like this pin right here got stuck. We're gonna pry that off and go catch it back on so we know where it's at and we're not gonna lose it. So this is wiggled loose, removing this. So we're going to, uh, first we're gonna pull by hand. See if we can just do that. See if we can pry off the bumper, pry it away. Those are clips. Sounds like we're breaking everything. Really sounds like you're breaking everything, but you're not. Do that to both sides. Excuse me, sir. Oh, now the bumper has fallen. On the passenger side, Looks like unplug the wiring harness connected to the bumper. Well, we have to disconnect this. Not like that. But this gets disconnected. We were a little hung up because the nice folks at Tesla stripped that bolt out oh, into the tub. Awesome. I'm gonna have to phone a friend. I see what happened here. You probably don't, but that bolt goes up into this plastic thing that has a ring inside, and that ring is supposed to be stationary. The other three, the other two were, but this ring is spinning, so it's like a loose nut inside. So I have to go in there on this side with pliers to hold it and take that off. Hopefully you guys don't have to do that. I'm gonna turn the camera off so you don't have to see me cry. That didn't work, what I was doing. I couldn't grab a grip with some needle nose pliers. And all I did was put the drill on high and melt the thing out of there. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to remove that now, but I won't be able to put it back in place. So I'm gonna pull that off. I can easily grab pliers on this side and pull it off so I can remove this whole bumper piece and we can continue. Let's 
side to side and there's the bumper. Look how dirty that is just from that little bit of off-roading that we did uh, at the racetrack that day. It's gonna get much worse. Put that off to the side. The next step is to remove these four bolts that hold this sensor bar on. It's a 10 millimeter socket. You can just lay it off to the side. Next step is removing this crash bar. We do not attach anything to this crash bar. It is just holding this on. Uh, this is what takes the impact from the back and transfers it to the side rails going around the bucket. We don't wanna mess with that. This is just gonna bolt in between there and then this goes on top of that. So we still have all the structure here and safety and the trailer hitch in this exact same way Tesla installs theirs. This is where you feed in the tow bar for the rear end. So we definitely wanna keep this, especially when I go off road, cause I probably will get stuck. Hold my arm on this and remove this one. And then pull this right off. The next step is to remove those bolts. Well, let's see how easy this is gonna be. Let's sit on the bar and Hope for the best, you go slow with it, they come right out. That looks like the mount for, yep, that's the mount for the tow mount. All right, we're finally at the point we get to put stuff on. <laughs> we removed a bunch, but now we get to put stuff on. And we take this, and we, line it right over those holes. Um, and then we're gonna use the factory screws or factory nuts to bolt those on at 38 pounds. So you need a torque wrench and you just set it to 38 pounds and when it clicks, you're done. It's a little tricky getting those on, but if you take a magnet, I got that one and we'll just line all these up first. The next step before we bolt this up, we have to take, it comes with plastic washers, and we take two of them and put them on the outside. So there's two out there and one on the inside bottom run. We don't do anything on the top. We lift this up onto those studs. We use the factory bolts. We bolt it in place. We, well, we center it first, and we bolt it down to 38 pounds. Make sure you have your nuts ready to go. This is when a helper might come in handy. Um, but again, I don't have friends. I'm just kidding, I got a lot of friends. I got almost 45,000 friends. <sighs> Set it there. We're just gonna center in the bolts. We're centered in that one. We're not centered here, so let's bring it over just past center. It looks fairly straight and it's centered on the bucket. So I think we're good. And that's pretty much it. Now we just repeat the steps backwards to put everything back on and it's ready to go. The only other thing we have to do is remove that panel and make it easy to pull this panel on and off. Good morning. It's the next day. It was kind of late last night. I did some stuff with the family, but now let's put the bumper on. So the nut and bolt that I had problems with out of the bottom of the tub, I found out why. This was cross-threaded from the factory. When this goes on, it's at an angle. It's not straight on. You see it wobbling. See it's wobbling there. So whoever put this in from the factory uh, cross-threaded this, which made this impossible to remove because uh, it was locked on there super tight. And then all that did was make this spin inside the plastic. All right, before I'm wrapping everything up, I'm about to put the bumper on, I decided to run the wiring for the trailer hitch. Now, I got the kit from Torque Lift. You don't have to get the kit from Torque Lift uh, if you want to try to use the factory harness here. Now, 
I don't think it's available yet, and I don't know if Tesla's gonna allow you to buy that without having the trailer hitch itself. Out of this vent, off the side, because there's really not that many places that come out of the car cleanly, uh, I just popped off one of the lines and stuck it through there, just moved it off to the side. Stuck the trailer hitch line through there, and I just have it wrapped around there for right now. And then I'll tidy it up, I'll zip tie it to here once I have everything going. I'm gonna do a whole nother video on connecting that line. At least I have it right now down here. Uh, that's all the controls from torque lift. All right, here it is, fully installed, bumper back on. It was actually pretty easy to put everything back together. It was way easier than taking it apart. Uh, if you've ever put together some of these modern Legos, you'll be able to do this. This thing goes together that way. It's not very difficult. You just follow the same steps you went through. And I would suggest taking pictures of stuff, like especially the clips underneath where they go, as you take things apart, take pictures. I have an old rusty hitch from um, a truck I had a long time ago, but it is nice and solid, secure. I'm gonna do something with this cover as well. Um, I don't like what they sent um, for me personally. I like customizing things. And they sent a magnetic piece that this will fit over and stay there in place so it's easy to take off when you want to use the trailer hitch. But I think I wanna do something custom for me and make it a little different, unique, uh, because, you know, hey, why not? I can. So again, this, um, this trailer hitch is from Torque Lift. I got mine from Teslarati. And there is a link down below to buy it from Teslarati. Uh, it does help out the channel, but also you get a great deal right now because it is a pre-order. For, for less than $300, you can get the trailer hitch. So if you think about it, you can get the jack stands and the hitch for less than what you can get the hitch from Tesla for. Thanks for watching. Take your time at this. It's not very difficult. The hardest part was that bolt that I had uh, in the bottom of the pan. Those tail light bolts are a little tougher to get to because you can't really pry back the material on the side panels like you could in the Model 3. Those are the trickiest things. The rest of it, not that hard. I finished up, I put everything back together in a half an hour. I took everything apart. Filming takes a little bit longer, but I took everything apart within two hours. Filming does take a lot longer. I think you can get this done, this whole project done within an hour, three hours, in your driveway, in your garage, no problems whatsoever. It is a lot easier having it up on jack stands, but you don't necessarily need those. It just makes it a little easier. As always, stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.